Gainesville, 60 miles north of Dallas-Fort Worth, was once the home of a unique big top. And tonight's Texas tale is about circus memories. John Pronk explains. Gainesville, Texas looks just as ordinary now as it did in the days of the newsreels. But Gainesville is no ordinary town. It's the home of one of Texas' most unusual institutions, an institution that has brought it national fame. As the announcers explain, Gainesville had its own greatest show on earth. What started as a little summer circus to keep kids occupied turned into a full-fledged community effort. From the 1930s to the 50s, about 20 performances a year, mostly in Texas and Oklahoma, were put on by Gainesville residents. Business people became clowns, students were aerialists, and a housewife stood on her husband's shoulders on horseback. From the roustabouts to ringmaster, no one earned a penny with profits going into repairs and travel expenses. Professional circus people were brought in to help train folks, and the Gainesville Community Circus became nationally known. The daring flying walker. Year after year, uh, you know, practice sessions. We got older, we got married, we had children. Our children started performing with us, and uh, uh, it was just a part of our lives. I believe we still have everything, Doc. These days, Evelyn Walker works as a waitress sometimes. Frank's and one of her steady customers is Dr. A.A. A. Davenport. I think of him as Doc, the ringmaster. You know, I don't think of him as a chiropractor. I think of him as Doc, the ringmaster, yes. Every time you see somebody that was in the circus, why, well, there's, there's some reunion takes place there. It's been long enough now that it's real special. Schmitz was a Gainesville car dealer who built this bread box and climbed in and out for his clown act. He later became the show's announcer. I would say, ladies and gentlemen, we take great pleasure in presenting the Gainesville Community Circus. Effie collected memorabilia, which he's putting up for posterity in his office. Well, I see a picture. I remember pretty well when we taken it. And, and of course, I'm, maybe you say I'm living in the past, but that's what I'm doing. The crowds thinned by the late 50s. Television and air conditioning were keeping people indoors. A fire burned up the winter quarters and most of the equipment. The circus was through. But in its heyday, it had 180 members and was one of the three largest circuses in America. Josie, I need a show special. And a Not very many towns can boast what we had, you know. And uh, I'm sorry that really that we don't have that today. I think our young people are missing a lot, really. John Bronk, Channel 8 News, Gainesville. A neat part of our heritage. Yeah. Thank you for joining us and good night. Good night.